So the move away from the dollar has begun and it continues. Both all the BRICs, particularly Russia, China, and India, have been importing gold like crazy. And there is a, I think there's a two part answer. One answer is, first of all, well, there's three. One is that the deterioration of the dollar will continue regardless of the BRICs or not. The BRICs are just there looking ahead and saying, we want to protect ourselves and be in a position when the dollar fails further that we have our own trading mechanism and settlement process that will carry us through. But on top of that, you've got two questions. One is, are the powers that be currently, which I call the Anglo-American axis, going to be able to maneuver things to their way of thinking, or are you going to see the BRICS come out and perhaps establish gold as a backing to a currency again? And then you've got the, and that's the dialectic. And the synthesis could be that these both these sides are being directed by the powers that be, and it's all a big ruse to get us all into uh, global governance of some type. I don't really hear that, but I don't rule it out because I honestly don't know completely. So visiting the two sides is you could be in a situation where gold reasserts itself at an inter international monetary level, and it doesn't have to be gold, but it could be an asset-based ba uh, uh, currency of some type. So let's just say, for example, the yuan is utilized and it's gold-backed. Mm -hmm. Or the, uh, there's a new currency, for an example, with Russia and China, and it's oil and gold-backed or whatever. So that, I think, is one road. The other road is that the current empire, globally, financially, and monetarily, uh, imposes more and more draconian measures where you cannot withdraw cash from the bank. Cash is outlawed. The only thing you can do is use an electronic transfer payment that's uh, looked, at, looked at every which way from Sunday <clears throat> as far as what you have purchased, when you purchased it, why, you know, and everything else. And there's a complete control mechanism in our electron world where everything is monitored and everything is done with uh, federal credits by world government. Mm -hmm. So that to me, and this is just me talking, I don't know, but certainly I've looked at this stuff for many years, mm -hmm. is I think the two distincts, of course, are there other, sure, there's hundreds of other possibilities, but I think it categorizes in those two. You're either going to come back to some type of asset backed sound currency that really is more beneficial to the world at large, or you're going to go in a draconian measure situation where it's all monitored and everybody on earth has got some type of uh, monitoring device on every transaction that they take and it's all controlled.